subscribe if you have not and click on the notification bell to get more updates before we get the impressions from the legends i'll just give you my own thoughts on the fixtures and uh, at the top liners the top line fixtures that you should look for it we we'll also look at Ghana's uh, fixture dates looking ahead in 2022 when the tournament begins on the january 9th as i said the very first game will be between uh, cameroon and burkina faso on the 9th of january in total there will be six stadiums used for this competition and it will be interesting to see how uh, cameroon will host this uh, afcon because uh, there were doubts about whether they were ready there were doubts talks about unrest and all that uh, but as i said uh, the president of cap has reiterated that he was confident in cameroon being able to host this competition and they have they will be hosting it uh, the six stadiums that will be used for this competition are in yaoundé that's the olembe stadium another one in yaoundé amadu ahiju stadium ghana will be playing their first two games there at uh, the limbe stadium in limbe stadium uh, bafusam and it will be the uh, Kwekong Stadium over there, Douala, they have the Japoma Stadium, and Garua, they have the Rounde Ajia Stadium. So that was where Ghana will be playing their final group game. So they'll play their first two games in Yaoundé, Cameroon, and they'll play their final group game in uh, Garua, in uh, Cameroon. We'll look at the dates for Ghana's fixtures, my thoughts on their groups, and my thoughts on each of the groups i think it's fairly balanced but the ghana black stars will be in group c yes they'll be looking to break that afcon jinx in group c with uh, group members in the afcon on the 10th of january 2022 at 4 p.m gmt actually uh, they will be playing uh, morocco uh, ghana versus morocco 10th of january uh, 2022 a day after the opening ceremony, a day after the opening games, 10th of January 2022, Ghana will be playing in their first uh, group game against uh, Morocco. We'll be looking forward to that. Mark it in your calendars. Ghana will take center stage again on the 14th of January at 7 p.m. GMT. Ghana uh, taking on Gabon. Uh, we'll be in the same venue in Yaoundé. And then they'll round up everything uh, versus Comoros on uh, the 18th of January. Uh, 2022 uh, 20, uh, uh, they will be playing in Garua around the Asia Stadium that will be where they will play their final group uh, game in the AFCON and Nigeria to uh, look at their fixtures ahead of the competition Nigeria will be playing in a titleizing fixture versus Egypt who are the record AFCON holders with seven titles and the Nigeria Super Eagles will start off their campaign on the 11th of January at 4 p.m. GMT and they will play Egypt in their first game, 11th of January 2022, 4 p.m. GMT. They take on Sudan next at 4 p.m. GMT on 15th of January 2022 at the same venue. And they'll round it up against Guinea-Bissau on the 19th of January 2022 at 7 p.m. GMT. So Nigeria will play all the fixtures at the same venue. Some tantalizing fixtures to also look forward to Algeria versus Ivory Coast. That will be taking place on the 20th of January 2022. Also, Tunisia versus Mali, 12th of January, 1 p.m. at the Limbe Stadium in Cameroon. So those are some of the few fixtures to look forward to. We'll be running down uh, through uh, the groups uh, quickly. And it's an interesting group. And I think, I don't think there is any group of death here. I think it's quite clear when you look through each group. Uh, you would know or you can predict which teams will move on but that's the thing with the afcon there's always a surprise pack as we had in madagascar the last time out so who will be the surprise package this year i have no idea but i am tipping let me look through quickly and think um i'll tip sudan to be the surprise package to go further in the tournament than anticipated by analysts i think sudan will be that team that will be uh, the third warring team in group d that will surprise us in this afcon so we'll be breaking down the groups furthermore as the days and weeks come by breaking it down analyzing each team and their strengths and weaknesses but i'll end with the thoughts after the draw in uh, cameroon here i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day let's get some reactions from the legends on va commencer à domicile
We're going to start at home and we're going to begin with the rules of the house. Samuel Etufi, tell us how do you, how was this exercise? I would say that the groups are balanced, especially for the national team of our country. I believe that your group is um, well balanced. But the question that I ask myself, even if I know that we have a very good group and we have uh, an excellent coach, what I wonder, however, is how they'll be able to manage pressure given that they'll be playing before 26, 27 million Cameroonians. I hope that our young colleagues will be able to manage that pressure and that at the end of the day, we will be champions. We know that in 2017, when the Lions were winners in Libreville, they were in Group A. Do you think that this is a repeat of history? Well, I hope that we are going to feel the same delight, the same joy. But then, as I, as I mentioned, the coach is here, and he's been working for very long now with the team. And I hope and believe that for the next Afcon, we are going to feel the same joy. But however, I wish them a lot of good luck and courage. Good luck to Cameroon. On the pressure, I'm looking at your group. You've got the defending champions in there on a fantastic unbeaten run. Of course, you are as well, our former champions. How are you feeling? I believe that it's also a very balanced group. Here we have uh, the champion, which is Algeria, and they're going to try very hard to defend that title. We also have Sierra Leone, which had a very beautiful track right up to this day. Same with Equatorial Guinea. And we believe that um, we have Cote d'Ivoire too, which is a major uh, football country. And they're going to try their very best to win the trophy so it's going to be a difficult uh, match here in cameroon but nothing is impossible and it's going to be a beautiful comp competition and let the best of them win now we go to the ladies galel and ganamwit it is not um very easy maybe to talk about all of this you have been a captain before how did you leave this exercise we're carrying out now i must say it's a beautiful experience for me it is an honor for me to be with all of these august personalities and i must say that the draws went on very well we have some major football countries here and for us cameroon we are at home and i hope that my brothers will be able to manage the pressure and I wish them the best of luck and let the trophy remain here. Could we say that behind the lions we have the lioness? Thank you very much, of course. The group Comoros, a fantastic story qualifying for the first ever Africa Cup of Nations. We've also got there two Arsenal players, you know, for Ghana, Partey, Gabon, Aubameyang in that group. How are you feeling about Group C? Um, yeah, I think it's a, a tricky group. Um, you know, Morocco is up there. You know, um, I think he considered just one goal in the qualification, which um, I think is statistically is one of the strongest in the group you know Ghana is also up there you know that's my country you know I'll be rooting for my country um, but everybody who is qualifying for the African Cup of Nations is coming to win you know so statistically we are up there but we don't know what is gonna happen um, we just have to stay focused and do what we can do to just qualify from this group and then uh, we see what happens, you know, because without a group, you cannot think about you cannot think about winning a cup, you know. So we have to make sure we qualify from the group stages, and then um, we think about winning the cup. No, because I was going to actually ask you that because you said we go to the Africa Cup of Nations is thinking about winning, and I know Ghanaians have been waiting for a long time. Yeah, it's been quite frustrating, you know, since um, 2008. Um, our West is the semi-final, you know, so it's like we've always been coming closer to the cup, but we don't get it, you know. Um, 
I think back home, everybody wants nothing but a cup. You know, it doesn't matter about the performance. You know, it's, it's about a cup. You know, so that is what we're praying for. All right, best of luck. Rabat Major, on sait que... Rabat Major, we know that um, Africa, or Algeria rather, is the reigning champion for now. What do you think about this? I believe that Al Algeria has the means and the capacity to go very far in the Safcon, which will be held here in Cameroon. And the team has the morale. They're upbeat about this. And they won the last one. So I believe that uh, in the last game, they presented a very beautiful game. And I believe that they have that means to um, lift the, trof the trophy here in Cameroon. It's not going to be an easy game. And the group where um, Algeria is found, together with Sierra Leone, Gu Equatorial Guinea, and Cote d'Ivoire, I believe we should take them very seriously because football has never been an exact science. But however, I wish with all my heart that Algeria will lift this trophy again. Well, Didier Drogba is here with us, and I believe that you, as well as him, will be waiting to play with each other. Uh, well, we hope that we're going to have beautiful matches to watch and let the best win.